Welcome to the MLB The Show 22 Wheel Spin Series. In this video, I will spin a wheel and I get to pick a player to add to the team based on the team that we go ahead and land on. This is now episode number three on the channel, so go watch the other ones if you guys not already seen those. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hop in, just start spinning the wheel here. We have a team, starting pitcher, relief pitcher slash closer, uh, catcher, first base, second base, shortstop, all those different positions that we're gonna go ahead and spin. We're just gonna go down the line. So the first team we get here is gonna be in our team. And the second team we get is going to be the starting pitcher from that team and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and just spin. While this is spinning, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe. I seriously would appreciate it. Liking the video takes two seconds, man. But we're going to go ahead and get the New York Yankees as our team. So we get all, we get like, you know, their two through five in the starting rotation. And we get, you know, their backup players, their bench players, all different stuff. So pretty good pickup with the New York Yankees. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, we're spinning now for our starting pitcher. Who are we going to get? And we have to get rid of the Yankees, number one, by the way. We have to trade them out. We get the Houston Astros. So that means we get Justin Verlander here, but we do have to go ahead and trade out Garrett Cole. We have to do one-for-one -one trades here. So, you know, Verlander for Cole, it could have been a lot worse, to be honest. But, yeah, we'll, we'll take Justin Verlander. Next up, we have the reliever slash the closer. So, either or, who are we going to get here? Looks like we are going to get the San Diego Padres. So, here we're going to get 80 overall Taylor Rogers added to the team here. So... Who, who do we have to trade out here? Looks like we have to trade out Chapman. So, yeah, pretty good right there. So, Taylor Rogers for Chapman, pretty good trade. Uh, I'll take that all day. Moving on with positional players here. Who are we going to get for catcher? We get the San Francisco Giants. Okay, Joey Bart. Actually, we're going to get Kirk Caselli here. So, uh, Joey Bart is a much worse overall, so we're just going to take him here. And that means we have to give up. Where is he? There he is. We have to give up Ben Rordvet. I definitely said that name wrong, but that's who we're going to add to the team here. We will now be spinning for our first baseman. Who are we going to get here? All right. It looks like we're going to get the Seattle Mariners. Well, this was a very good pickup. We get Ty France at first base, but that means we have to trade out Anthony Rizzo. But, you know, again, could have been a lot worse. So really happy with Ty France. All right, we're spinning now for our second baseman. Who are we going to get? We're going to get the Los Angeles Dodgers. So we get to add Chris Taylor to the team here. Uh, yeah, awesome pickup uh, for the most part. So who do we have to trade out? We have to trade out Jose Peraza. So we'll take that. Chris Taylor added to the team. Spinning this time for the shortstop. And we get from the Twins. So we get to trade Carlos Correa for Isaiah Kinner Falefa. I don't know who that is. We get Carlos Correa though. Okay, third base wheel spin here. We're getting to the end of the video here. So at least the wheel spin portion of it. We get the Atlanta Braves. So we get to pick up Austin Riley here. So a huge pickup. We get to trade Austin Riley for DJ LeMahieu. So this team has turned out pretty damn good so far. Really happy with what we're doing here. Spinning for outfield here. This can be for any outfield position. So it really kind of depends. We get the Cincinnati Reds. So we get we get Tommy Pham here. Uh, that does not feel good. We have to trade Joey Gallo for Tommy Pham. Not happy with that. All right, spinning again. Who are we going to get? We're going to get the freaking Angels. Welcome to the team, uh, Mike Trout. Well, this seems like a pretty fair trade. Austin Hicks for Mike Trout. Welcome to the New York Yankees. Okay, final wheel spin here. We still have a shot at keeping Aaron Judge as long as the highest overall fielder on the Mets here is not a right fielder. Okay, Mets here. We get to add center fielder Starling Marte to the team. And who are we going to get here? Who do we have to trade out? I don't even know because Aaron Hicks was the only center fielder, really. We're not trading out Mike Trout, obviously. Uh, so we have to trade out Endler and Carte. All right. Pretty good end off to the video there with Mike Trout and Starling Marte. All right, let's check this team out as a whole, man. So we got Mike Trout at a 99 as our star on the team. Aaron Judge, Justin Verlander, Taylor Rogers, Austin Riley, Ty France, Chris Taylor, Starling Marte, Carlos Correa, Giancarlo Stanton, Jamison Talion. Uh, Josh Donaldson, Jordan Montgomery, Luis Severino. I mean, this team is just great, man. Zach Britton. I mean, yeah, this team keeps getting better and better and better. So, yeah, awesome pickups to the team here. Let's go ahead and start sending, though, and see how well this team can really do. Because uh, we'll see. I mean, we'll, <laughs> depends on how SDS wants to uh, screw us over in the sim. You guys can see our record here at the top of the screen right here. So, yeah, so we're about 22, and yeah, we're not doing that great, man. Injuries do happen. That was a problem in the last episode. I think we had, uh, who do we have? Uh, I can't, I can't think of his name off the top of my head for whatever reason, but we had a couple injuries that, uh, you know, unfortunately screwed us over pretty bad, uh, in that video, but it seems like we're doing a lot better this time around here. So 
we are up to 60 and 27 so a uh, pretty good spot you know um not bad at all pretty happy with it but he's gonna answer no to all of these different questions here it's freaking stupid i wish you could just you know turn these off but unfortunately you can't but 70 and 33 is our record currently so we are in an amazing spot we should hopefully get you know first round by so yeah uh 84 and like 40 we are now we're in a great spot we should be able to hopefully break 100 wins yeah we're gonna break that easily yep we are in a great spot here reaching the end of the playoffs here all right uh let's go ahead and send the rest of the season here we go all right so here we are we have finished the season at 113 and 49 we even have 50 losses and we won our division we've taken on the winner of the wild card playoff game here so we want to stop simulating and see who we face here we are facing the toronto blue jays so first game here luis severino versus kevin gosman let's see who wins this game and we take game one all right seven to four win there um chad green ended up getting the win two innings pitched one strikeout all right jordan montgomery versus jose barrios we'll see this might be a loss it is zero to eight all right uh we should hopefully win this one jameson talion versus uh i'm not gonna say that name i suck with them and i definitely cannot pronounce that name let me take a loss there man come on i don't want to be swept in the not swept but i don't want to lose in the first round and we have to face alec manoa with nestor cortez verlander must have got hurt huh yeah verlander got hurt great and oh okay so we did win there five and or okay five nothing win there and now we have luis severino versus kevin gosman yet again we took a win last time around when these two faced off Come on, give us the win. I do not want to be a first-round knockout. And we come back and get the win. Okay, we're moving on to face the Chicago White Sox in the ALCS here. Come on. Jameson Talion versus Lance Lynn. Let's do it. And we take game one. Jordan Montgomery versus Lucas Giolito. And we lose that one pretty bad. 3-12. All right. And we take another win. Come on, 3-1 lead. Now it's even up at 2-2. Two and two. They want to make us sweat a little bit. And we lose there game six come on and we win that one game seven okay we have Devi garcia versus dallas uh, keichel so now looking good it's gonna be an l no we freaking won one to nothing okay we are now in the world series against the san francisco giants can we get it done this is what the uh, bracket looks like by the way uh so yeah pretty good looking bracket the white Sox. uh you know beat uh they swept the mariners there but uh this is what the nlds look like giants would be able to knock off philly and the dodgers man all right uh let's see how well this goes i'm not feeling that great because who they knocked off but all right come on took game one game two we end up losing that one let's go ahead and sim all right can we get another win here okay so what was the series now it is one okay so we're down one two Let's see if we can win this one here. Yeah, we're going to lose. There's no way we come back 3-1. Yeah. We lost in five. All right. Well, uh, still have yet to win the World Series in uh, this series so far, unfortunately. So, yeah. But, uh, you know, pretty good run this time around. The team has looked very, very good. Uh, really good games there. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure Verlander got hurt. Why? Can, okay, I can, okay, I can't skip those. Jeez. Uh, yeah, Aaron Judge got called at the end of the season. Mike Trout was still pretty good. Um, but yeah, it looks like our pitchers got hurt. Uh, where's the pitcher? Where's the mark? He's not even on the team. Did they just trade him? What even happened? Do we make a trade? I don't see anyone new on the team, but I have everything set to auto, so I don't know, man. I have no idea where he went, unless he just straight up retired at the end, which is definitely possible. I don't know. No idea what happened there. Oh, wait, it said, wait, Verlander was down. Oh, I think he just, you know, dropped down an overall a ton. Uh, yeah, he's down to 74 here, so. Yeah, that's probably why he didn't start, because he dropped down in overall so bad, but I don't know. That's kind of weird. I kind of wish Verlander started, but I guess not. Well, that's going to do it, though, man. I seriously do appreciate you guys watching. If you guys made it to the end of the video, comment uh, WS for World Series so I know who the OGs are who stick to that my, to the end of my videos. I generally, gen genuinely do appreciate you guys for sticking to the end of the videos. It helps them out so well. And, uh, yeah, just leave a like. Really would appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Peace.